Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup talk through. I have a few things that I bought from the drugstore and a few things from Sephora that I would love to share with you guys. They are awesome products. So let's jump right into the video. So first we're going to start off with skincare. So before you do your foundations, before you put any primers on, these are the very most important things you must use before starting your makeup. I have picked up the Josa Moran Pure Argan Oil. It's 100% um, pure argan oil by Josie Marin. It is my absolute holy grail. I love this product. A little goes a long way, so it will last you forever. And what I like to do is I wash my face in the morning. I put this on before I do any kind of primers or any kind of moisturizers. I also like to use this product at night after I wash my face and to go to sleep with. It really makes you wake up with a very hydrated face and you just feel like your skin is a lot more moisturized than it was before. Um, also, this product is really well known for using on your hair and your body as well. So that's also a really great uh, way to use it. I have also gotten the Tarte Tarte Guard 30, which is a SPF 30 for your face by Tarte. And what I recommend using is just a little tiny bit. You don't need a whole lot for your face. I would go ahead and squirt just a tiny bit onto the palm of your hand. You can mix it with your foundation or you can use it by itself, which is really, really nice. It comes in a really cute little packaging and I think it's like absolutely adorable. So next I am going to be moving on to complexion. So I went to the drugstore and I picked up a few things. I used to wear this product all the time. It's the Fit Me Foundation. And I saw it, they came out with a dewy smooth. I know that they also came out with a matte, a stay matte foundation by Fit Me um, by Maybelline. And I have to say it's awesome. I really, really like the way that it comes out and it looks like flawless on your face. Um, it's not too heavy and it's not too thick. I really, really like that. Once again, it is the Maybelline Fit Me and it's the dewy plus smooth. I'm using the 230 Natural Buff, which I actually have on today. I know you probably can't see because the lights are a little bright, but this is the product here and it is absolutely wonderful. Moving on to concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the color um, 10 light. It also reminds me a lot of the NARS Creamy Concealer. This one kind of reminds me of the vanilla slash um, custard, if that makes any sense. I know it's kind of like a mix between the two, but this goes on so nice and lightly. It's very creamy. It doesn't cake up throughout the day. I really, really, really like this product. So next, I am going to be talking about a few different eyeshadow palettes that I have gotten my hands on and I'm really excited about. Introducing the Tartlet Palette by Tarte, and this one is from Sephora. It is the most matte colors and neutral colors, may I add, that you can find and they come on so beautifully. So I'm actually wearing them right now. I don't know if you could tell. I've been so excited to use them. I waited till this video um, so that I can kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like. So these are the colors right here. And they have the most like crazy names for them. I'll go ahead and swatch a few now. The ones that I have on today are the best friend, caregiver, and super mom. Oh my God. Okay, well that's a little bit of what they look like. I will put them on my um, my blog. If you guys don't know, my blog is www.yourstrulylisette.blogspot.com. I'll go ahead and list the items on there individually so that way you guys can maybe get some more information on them and see the swatches of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna be um, talking about today. Next is the Smashbox Double Exposure. I got to use this over the weekend. I really, really like the pigmentation on them. I know some eyeshadows you get, you don't really get the color that is shown here. So I'll go ahead and do a swatch on that and I'll have that on my blog as well. The nice thing about this one is it comes with a brush. And we all know, ladies, you end up buying a whole thing like this, which is like 45 bucks, and you have to use a separate brush or you have to go buy a brush. This one comes with this brush right here, which is for the lid and a blending um, blush on the end, which is like a little bit of an angled blending brush. But I really, really love it. And the cool thing about these is 
you can use them wet. I think that it is an all around great eyeshadow palette. There's so many different colors. You have the more warm colors, you have a little bit more brighter colors, and of course, colors to do like a smoky eye with, which is amazing. So that is that eyeshadow palette. Next, I know I jumped on the bandwagon a little late. I finally picked up my um, Shade Light Kat Von D contour palette and I am so thrilled about it. I really like the colors that they have in here. I really love all the highlight colors. I even use pretty much all of them to highlight and to set my powder underneath. Um, but yeah, these are all wonderful colors. I've been using this every single day. It is like my new holy grail. This is the contour palette that I used in my last video, my Get Ready With Me. Um, I'll go ahead and link that down below so that way you guys can see it if you haven't already. Moving on, I have a few other products. One of those is the new Urban Decay Lip Gloss. And I don't know if you've heard anything about these. The color payoff is phenomenal. There is a range of different colors and I love that what you see is what you get. So it goes from more cool tones to um, more natural nudes, then it goes to more vibrant pinks, and then to more darker colors like the purple. So I actually got this one. It's so outside of my comfort zone. I'm actually wearing it right now. I never wear color on my lips. No pinks, no dark colors, anything like that. But something about these lip glosses just makes you want to wear them. They feel so good on your lips. They don't have that tacky feeling that some lip glosses have. I wish I can get them all and just so you could see how bright this color is. So exciting to actually get to see colors go on the way that they look packaged. This color is called Bittersweet and this is their high color lip gloss from Urban Decay. So one last lip that I want to um, talk about is the Fresh um, Sugar Honey Lip Gloss. They have a wonderful skincare line as well as a lip care line. So they have chopsticks, they have lip balms, they have tinted lip balms, they have um, lip serums. This is the Sugar Honey Shine Lip Treatment. So it does have a little bit of color to it. It is more nude. So that is the color that you see here. Hey girl. She butt dyed on me. So anyways, back to my um, Sugar Honey Shine Lip Treatment. It does have a beautiful nude color to it. It's a little bit on the darker side of nudes, but it's so beautiful and it keeps your lips moisturized throughout the day. You really only need to apply it like once every maybe two hours. That's how long you stay on for. I am absolutely obsessed with these. So that is it for my video today. Kind of wanted to let you guys know about me working at a new makeup store. I absolutely love it. I'm very excited about it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know which one that is. But it has opened my eyes to a whole new world of beauty. I love everything about makeup. I've learned so much about skincare. So I'm gonna be doing an Ask Me um, video. I wanted to let you guys know about that so that way you guys can start sending me questions on Instagram, Facebook, um, on any type of social media as well as YouTube. There's so many questions that you ladies have and I know that because every single day there's not a day that goes by that girls don't come in to ask me things, ask me my opinion on things, how things work, how I like a certain product. So leave me your comments down below. Let me know if you guys want to know anything, if there's a product that you guys have been wanting to try before you guys go out and buy it, if you guys kind of want to know my review and my thoughts about it. I would love to answer any questions you guys have. And make sure that you guys check out my beauty and lifestyle blog is www.yourstrulylisette.blogspot.com. I don't think there's anything else to say, but I love you guys and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Mwah.